just like the city uh, just south of here, between here and Santa Fe. Santa Fe might have charged, I forget it which exactly. But I've never seen that before. It's so far it looks like a New Mexico thing. Northern New Mexico. Apparently this is the historic Taos territorial compound. All right, and you you just uh, like rent a room to stay in, I guess. Doesn't look too busy. All right, these are I think are the flowers that are causing that that uh, plastic smell. Just I'll pay attention to that now. All right, it's uh, sun's coming down. Libraries over there, Snowcap Mountain, Speed Hump, and this is a very quiet, pretty quiet road. I can see why now. It's just a pasture, beautiful pasture. These people have some chairs set up out in the pasture. Maybe when cows come close or something, they interact in some way. <clears throat> it is pretty neat to be nestled in between a lot of mountains around here. Oh, this is a graveyard? Wow. I don't see the entrance. It looks like some kind of pioneer graveyard. Really neat. Not too many cows. The pasture's green. This is north of Me New Mexico. There's a green pasture. How many of those gophers have uh, reached the bones? They're all over around here and I see holes. There's no way for humans. Oh, okay, if you really want it to get in, but it's not an official entrance. <clears throat> you can see that there's gophers down there all around. So they interact with the cows. This is Valverde Drive and Valverde Street. Alright, I'm in the library parking lot. I think I'll drive to the Walmart. Sleep overnight. They don't have any regulation. It's finally cooled down enough. I had a mosquito attack me when I was outside. That was a little concerning. I was looking at the temperature and it's gonna be 71 here in Taos. But in Denver, it's gonna be 80 tomorrow. So that's a little concerning. It doesn't look like much uh, much relief for heading further north or being in a rush to go further north. Just kind of pick and choose areas, I guess. But going north is a dead advantage, but um, there's going to be mo there's going to be points where it's going to be worse in some places than others. All right, checking out the parking situation. There's there's actually a public parking area where they actually say RVs are okay. That is rare to see. All right, so I, I added catnip to my coffee. Maybe about a tablespoon after crushing it. I crushed it into a powder because I just have no way of filtering it when I put it in the McDonald's cup. And I gotta say, it's kind of hit me hard. I'm, I am a little, my head is swimming a little bit. I think that is a mild hallucinogen that is, does kick in with coffee. It kicks in best when it's in hot water because for the past few years I've been soaking it in just regular water. And not really feeling anything, but throwing it in coffee, the combination of hot water and caffeine have really makes the catnip kick in. Catnip and coffee. But I also admit that I did add some other herbs. I added peppermint and hawthorn berries and just a little fenugreek. But it's not significant amounts. They're not definitely added, they're definitely not added for taste just more for the effect. I like the effect of that catnip. I just, it's just hard to, 
it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. I just want variety. I just want to make note that also my stomach got upset a little bit, like sick feeling a little bit. It feels like it's settled down now, but the initial drinking was was upsetting and sickening to the stomach. I guess I didn't think that the Albertsons would be so far. It might be over a mile away from what I expected. Alright, this is behind the Albertsons. I find a little curious. There's a car approaching though. I'd like to look into this yard a little bit. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's not much to it, I guess. They have a lot of useful fence. The Albertson says no overnight parking right in the parking lot. I guess they've had problems. Ha, <laughs> keep keep out all right so a walk-in this is the first walk-in clinic that I've seen that has a little free library that's pretty cool not far down from it I really like this name if I wanted to become a florist this is the perfect name Enchanted Florist? That's great. Too bad they couldn't take that for their website, too. T Taos. Taos Florist. Somebody else probably took it for a website. If you look it up, Enchanted Florist. Right in that distance between Albertsons and, and uh, whatever the other grocery store is. There's a lot of cops patrolling this road in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, 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 I need the, the price to come down to what it's like. I think, oh, that was the uh, okay, and then it happens afterward. Okay. Yeah, all right. See, it's not this cashier at Smith's thinks that the discounts show up after you press the pay now button for both Safeway and Albertsons. And he's right, they are a part of the family, but they're, he's wrong about the same systems being used. Smith's is the only one that shows up the discounts only after you press the pay now button. The other two don't do that. Hey, uh, do you know how long the, the kiosk has been broken? How long has that been off? Like, we're not working. Oh, I don't know. Are you new? How long have you been working here? How long, how long have you been working here? A month? How long has the kiosk been broken? I just got them working. What? Oh, so they're they're a new addition. They they haven't they haven't been We've here. We've been having problems with our computer, so they've been here a year and a half. Okay, how long have they been broken? They've been offline. Yeah, I how long got, have they been offline? I just fixed it two minutes ago. Oh, so, so they were working yesterday. Huh? They were working yesterday. Yeah, they were working yesterday. Okay, I just. I feel like such a jerk. <laughs> As I go to more and more of the same Walmarts, the same McDonald's, the same libraries, I'm developing the same expectations, and it's making me become more of a jerk when uh, one deviates from the other in some kind of a practice or whatever. I suppose that's the life of a critic. It's not a glorious life. Right, so I've gotten into the habit of adding the pepper pepper black pepper with black sesame seed but I think I'd also be very willing to go with the pepper and white sesame seed as well all right so this is not coconut oil this is coconut butter very different 250 it's close to expiring I guess it looked like a good deal but it's very sweet it's like like the dried coconuts but it's in a butter form. I didn't. I guess I didn't really give it much 
much thought when I picked it up. I thought it was just coconut oil or coconut fats or it's very different. A puree of coconut. All right, I scooped out about a half of a canister can of of my partial sauerkraut from uh, the stock, and I want to take this over and have uh, uh, not a double whopper with cheese, but I don't know the McDonald's version of that. I, I just I want to have some vegetables with it in some way. I could sneak this in pretty good. These cans are very useful. Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish charges money for parking, but the free parking never, well, hasn't filled up since I've seen it, two days. Which vegetable ferments more, the cabbage or the onion? I just, I don't understand the whole concept. All right, so this is Kessel Lane. There's a sign that I could read, but I'd have to cross, and there's a little activity around. I'm looking for a park. I think, I believe there's a park this way. Yeah, this seems kind of new. At least the outer wall does, not the fence. And you got more private property. Some kind of a compound. Doesn't look like they're doing. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I thought there were some big animals on the side of the road. Just some horses that they're fenced. Kind of stinky here. I hope that's how they have somebody come every day to scoop that. Horses seem to prefer to poop in one spot. <laughs> Probably because they're only getting fed in one spot. Alright, so this looks like more free parking. <clears throat> oh yeah, okay, I can see it from here. This one has gates though. It's strange, like the one I'm at, I, st I stayed overnight pretty much camping, but here they say no overnight camping. The one I'm in is paved, this one is dirt. It's kind of strange, this is more on the outskirts. Kit Carson. There's a sign to read at this building, but this guy is working on it. How far is 100 yards? It's Kit Carson's house down that, that road I just passed. I can't make out what that is. Oh, it's a tail. It's a cougar tail. All right. And that's a long hundred yards. So he used a barrio style house, one that's close to the road. <clears throat> he had a big, he had a big backyard. Wow, a wooden, wooden walkway. pretty rare that you see them advertise shaded parking <laughs> like they got little trees and that's that's shaded parking they're using slippery elm okay so there's a sign in front of this house I want to look at that <clears throat> free customer parking okay some dude named Walter Ufer Hmm. And I guess he may have lived here.
All right, so he doesn't really sound like a long-term uh, resident here. Maybe he stayed a few weeks in this place or something. It's all shut down now. Huh. I'll have a look behind. Surprised they don't make it easier to walk around. Then you got Eskies, it looks pretty empty. There's certain places that are busy I'm kind of staying away from. I record, like I said, people say, you know, hey, you know, it always looks empty and stuff. I tend to record less around people. Like, I'm sure Eskies is a happening place, but it's a Saturday evening. Saturday evening. They got better things to do than to hang out at Eskies. Maybe Eskies is a Friday night thing. This place is pretty, pretty quiet in general, I think. There's a lot of dirt roads. Like that art district, I'd like to record more, but there are a few people around walking up and down that road. <laughs> it's a fairly busy place, very busy on the road at least. Very busy in certain parking lots, on the road in certain parking lots inside buildings not this one though huh. it's pretty rare to see a park with parking meters what does it say uh expired i think that's this spot i think there's a time where it's or it's free, right? After 6 p.m. Great park here, they got most of it blocked off. They don't want anybody on that grass. And it's a stage. They got no entry, closed for renovations. Really? I think they're focusing mostly on that stage. Seeing more and more night bugs out and about. Those mosquitoes are certainly lurking too. There was this guy in a red truck who had a siren and also the bullhorn. He actually bullhorned somebody who was stopped too long at the stop sign. But there was no, it was a red truck. It was a regular red Ford F-150 and it did not have any lights or anything flashing. Very odd. I've just seen two groups of people come over here on this, uh, this egg hunt these are like clues 14 lot that be seen <clears throat> they're just running around like maniacs one guy actually climbed this barbed wire fence but I got this crazy idea I want to put like I just crushed the milk thistle and milk thistle seed and then cardamom I've been holding on to Somebody suggested putting that in coffee. I was reading up on it. Then I'm going to throw some corn silk in. And I already have catnip from yesterday. I use all these. That's it. I'll be using those for the, for the addition to the coffee. Alright, just taking a look at this uh, t community auditorium. <clears throat> Huh. Yeah, I can't really. Looks like it's some kind of display area. Yeah, doors are locked. They do have quite a few doors, though. The brink. I can check them all. I hear music inside. I don't know if it's playing for somebody or if they just keep it going. All right, no overnight parking. It's 
Somebody feed the birds over there? It's a lot of white stuff on the ground. Yeah, somebody threw some popcorn on the ground here. All right, so this area is closed for, for renovation, but they really keep this, it's easy to access it from the back side. The front side is all fenced off, but I, I can walk right in here <clears throat> from the back side, get a closer look at it. <clears throat> Looks like the renovation is mostly landscaping. And while they got this all marked, they're going to do something. Yeah, landscaping. Mostly landscaping. I actually, I think there's access over here. I seem to see, recall seeing that. Yeah, they're doing a, some digging for pipes, which are only like three feet in the ground. So they have some pretty, looks like some pretty big concerts during special events.